Hey guys, welcome to this very special episode of TFL Today. I'm here just outside of Ann Arbor, Michigan, where Ford was kind enough to fly us out to, uh, well, test drive the new 2018 F-150. And next to me is uh, Todd Eckerd. Todd, what's your title? Truck Group Marketing Manager here at Ford. Yeah, and we're going to go and do a kind of a high-level overview of the new F-150, but I thought okay. it'd be fun to start with the truck behind us. Okay, sure. Tell, tell me about this truck behind us. So this is the Ford TT. Yep. This is 1920, yep. um, So, but representative of 1917 when uh, Henry Ford started making pickup trucks. Um, and so this is uh, the TT um, and uh, began in 1917. And it was really much the same reason why we're here today. Henry saw a need in the market from customers that needed to go beyond just what cars could provide. Um, farmers needed to haul things. Um, and uh, so it was important to have a pickup truck and that's really where Ford trucks started back in 1917. Could you start it up for us? Sure. Let's, 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 before we get to the new one, let's start with sure. the 19, 19, oh, 20 absolutely. Well, truck. this is our heritage. I mean, part of the reason this is so important is in 2017, just a couple of weeks ago, we celebrated 100 years of Ford trucks. It's a long time. It's a big milestone for us, something we're very proud of. Look at that, it starts right up. Right up? Yeah. <laughs> it does start right up. Have you driven this guy? I have driven in it. Yeah, okay. This is one that you get guided tours. Yeah, yeah, you get a retire this way. It was a little, it was a little tricky. Well, exactly. Well, now that we're at the uh, old ones, let's go and look at the new one. Okay. Let's walk down there. So, Todd, tell me, um, what is kind of your goal when you're bringing out a new truck? How do you guys kind of... Uh, plan the next generation of Ford F-150? Well, it's really all about our customers. I yeah. mean, that's really what uh, is at the core of everything we do. That's what Build Ford Tough is all about. Um, we need to make sure that we continue to design and develop products um, that meet the needs of our customers, both those that they can articulate and those that we work with them to kind of find out what some of those uh, the issues may be. Um, and we continue to innovate um, for that reason. What are your kind of the core pillars that that's built on? Um, well, well, really, I mean, it's really the core of what we've done here with the new 2018 F-150 we'll talk about. Even tougher, even smarter, even more capable. So um, we know our customers love that built for tough look. Um, and so we've done that. We'll see some of that in the exteriors I'll show you and the interiors. Um, but even smarter with new features, new technologies um, uh, that, uh, that make uh, the truck better uh, and make our customer more confident. And then, of course, even more capable, which is a great segue into the engines because that's a big story. Um, we're always looking for more capability. Now this first engine that we see right here, that's mm -hmm. the new base engine. And it's new, right? It's a new 3.3 it liter. You used to have the 3.5. We had the 3.5, exactly. But now you've gone up to a 3, oh, actually you've gone down to a 3.3, but I guess the big news is it's more fuel efficient. Exactly. Lower displacement, more fuel efficient, more towing, more capable. And so that's really, uh, again, the AND solution we started with the 2011 EcoBoost engines, which we'll see in a moment, um, really giving that AND solution better efficiency, but also more power. And that's exactly what we're delivering here with the 3.3. Really our entry engine, um, but still an important engine. This will continue to be mated to the six-speed transmission. Uh, and it's a great combination for those entry-level customers. And I believe that this starts at about 27,000, right? If you, if you get the base truck. So if you get the base truck, kind yeah. of an XL regular XL, cab yeah. uh, is about 27,000, yep. And then uh, if you want to move up, you mm -hmm. go to this engine right here, which yeah. is, I think, your most popular, right? This is it is. over 30% of people buy the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. It is. This is our highest mix engine, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. And so one of the major improvements that we brought for uh, to 2018 new F-150 is that we've made it to the 10 speed transmission. So much like the second generation 3.5 liter we brought out um, last year uh, in 2017, 17 model year, we've brought this out now and mated it to the 10 speed transmission. So again, improvements in power, improvements in fuel efficiency, uh, it really helps our customers get the job done. Now I was reading in the press release that in the 3.3, you've gone two MPG up. Correct. In terms of better fuel economy, and here you've gone one MPG. One MPG up. up. Yeah. yeah, and that's the, the important with all the new uh, engines that we've brought out, we're, in, we're seeing increases in our fuel economy, which is a win-win for our customers. So when we can bring them more capability and more fuel efficiency, that's really what we do and why we do it. All right, well, let's look at the Mustang of Ford engines. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is, of course, the five liter this is. Uh, Coyote. Uh, if people are Ford fans, they'll be very familiar with this engine. It's the uh, kind of the, 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 the hardcore bread and butter V8 that you can get in the Ford F-150 and the Mustang. So tell me about this engine. Have you improved it as well? Yeah, so this is one that we've uh, improved a number of different things um, uh, overall with the working of the engine itself, but also have made it to the 10-speed transmission. And so this is an engine as well that will get more horsepower and better fuel economy, um, which I, we think is, again, a win-win for our customers. Now, we know that, as you said, 
said, EcoBoost has become our most popular engine. Between the two, the 2.7 and the, and the uh, 3.5 liter, we're selling over 60% of our mix in the EcoBoost engines, but there's still a traditional core V8 following, um, and that obviously hasn't changed, so we continue to bring the 5 liter engine specifically for those customers. Now, earlier you were saying that you have 39% of the market share for half-ton trucks, is that right? That, so no, that's total. Overall, that's overall. total. That's F-150 and Super Duty. So total market, 38.1%. Uh, that's retail and fleet combined. We don't split F-150 and Super Duty. And then uh, you're up in terms of sales, right? You're almost at half a million units for almost, this year so far. Almost half a million this year, uh, just below 500,000, which obviously uh, we appreciate our customers. Uh, you know, that's who makes us the best-selling truck. We've been the best-selling truck for 40 straight years in America. Something we're very proud of but I think as the new 2018 F-150 is testament we don't rest on that we keep moving forward because our customer demands that and guys if you have any questions out there uh, Andre's behind the camera and he'll read them off to me Andre so if there's any good questions let's wait till we get done with the engines and we'll do the questions all right so over here we yep. have the top of the line this is of course the 3.5 liter EcoBoost correct now, this is a different engine at least in specifics than the one in the Raptor. It's very similar, but this is this is not quite as tuned as the Raptor engine. It is. that The, the Raptor engine you're referring to yeah. is the high output version of the 3.5 liter, but this is a very, very capable engine for us. Um, and uh, one that we haven't had major changes in 2018, but some tweaks um, to help improve it. Uh, it was already made it to the 10-speed transmission, which has been a great success. Uh, and we know uh, as we made it now to the uh, 2.7 liter and the, the 5 liter as well, uh, that transmission will continue to be outstanding for us. Now I was on your website and I noticed that if you get the Platinum, right, the high-end truck with this engine, it starts at $60,000. Yeah. So, so how so, high can you go? So the highest, so basically our Limited, which yep. is the top end, yep. um, that starts um, at about sixty-three. Thousand with the 3.5 liter is the standard engine there. But if you add like let's say all the technology, the, the massaging seats, the, the M giant sunroof, how, much, how high can you go? Much of that comes standard okay. um, with the limited, but you can add a number of additional options. So you can get in certainly get into the 70,000 MSRP range. Yeah. <laughs> um, but again, we're talking MSRPs, and I think the core of what may, has made F Series and F 150 so popular is the fact that we have choices across the range. So if you're looking for a work truck, we have XL uh, in the 27, 28 thousand dollar range if you're looking for the ultimate in a luxury truck that's limited um, so but we know that our customers are using for very different purposes and so we have to offer that power of choice uh, which is exactly what we and our dealers do now, I notice there's an engine missing here because <laughs> you have choice but yes. the diesel the three liter yes which is coming we uh, have what is that coming when can people expect to see that so we have announced that the three liter diesel is coming um, which uh, which will be a great addition to our lineup uh, it, it will be an addition um, we don't reduce anything that you've seen here and um, that will be coming in the spring of 2018. So still part of the 2018 model year, just a little bit later than the base uh, product itself. So but that will be coming. Exactly. That's from a year from now. We will have the uh, the three liter V6 EcoBoost power, or excuse me, Power Stroke diesel. And I noticed in your press release that that's also going to have the highest tow rating. Um, or potentially, will have. is that true? Will it, have we, a, potentially. We okay. haven't made any announcements right. on capability or what uh, the specs on that engine will be, but certainly that's something that uh, we're looking at. Because right now the big news is, of course, that with this engine, with the two-wheel drive setup, mm -hmm. the short truck, you can tow 13,200, I believe. 200 pounds, best-in-class yeah. towing. So. And, and, and hopefully you didn't just kind of sprinkle magic dust on the truck. I mean, you did something to actually not. bring it up of course. almost 1,000 pounds. What have you done to it? Exactly. So, so that's where there's a number of improvements in the chassis and in the overall ability to tow it because it's not just for us about a numbers game it's also about uh, the underbody of that truck itself um, so we've certainly made improvements there to help and then obviously the power of the engine um, it's all one big combination that gets us to that thousand pounds of additional uh, towing capability which we know will be great for our customers and in case you guys are wondering this is important especially if you're using the truck as a work truck and you mm -hmm. guys now have the uh, best in class so ram i believe is just under eleven thousand, and the silverado is about 12 five so you're you're 700 pounds more than mm -hmm. the Silverado and I'm sure that was on purpose I know you guys did that well we, for us it's really about continuing to improve for our customers it's something that our customers continue to ask for in terms of greater capability um, and so you know we, we don't look at the numbers so much uh, it's really about meeting the needs of our customers and clearly when the our engineers told us we had that ability given some of the adjustments that have been made um, you know obviously that we're excited about that we like best-in-class claims but really for us it's about putting all that capability to work on the job sites and in the boat launches where our customers are. Well, let's look at the new 10-speed. Sure. Now, 
I think you were the second company, first truck company to have a 10 speed, mm -hmm. um, uh, second company to actually feature a 10 speed. So what, why is this a better transmission than the six speed that comes paired with the 3.3? So the six speed is a great transmission. Yeah. We'll say that and obviously mated well to the 3.3 liter. And that's really what it's all about is the getting the right mating to take full advantage of those powertrains and of the engines themselves. So um, in terms of just the shift patterns here with the 10 speed, it's outstanding. And so we learned a lot um, with the 3.5 liter. It was a great hit with customers in terms of the improvement of fuel economy and all that capability and power that they expect. Um, and so we thought a great way to continue continue that to evolve it into the rest of the lineup on the 2.7 uh, and on the uh, 3.5 liter as well. And when the diesel comes out, it'll also be mated to the 10 speed. It's pretty amazing. There's a lot of technology in that transmission. There really is. I'm, I'm, not, the, at all I, those gears. I'm not the expert, but uh, but I know from my perspective oh my and gosh. from when we talk to customers, um, you know, being able to, to find the right gear and it's really a thinking transmission in that regard. Um, it learns driving patterns of people um, and ultimately just helps us provide more capability, but also more confidence. Um, um, when you're towing uh, um, or hauling, um, we find with the 10-speed, as they work through the uh, the gears, uh, it's just a really nice mating to our powertrains. Yeah, I was uh, in the Raptor recently, which of course has a 10-speed, the new Raptor, and I was mm -hmm. amazed. It's like a video game. You're watching <laughs> the, the different numbers as, right. as the transmission shifts. Let's well, go look at some. And that's, and that's part of the display that you have for the uh, with the Raptor, part of the, the, uh, the interior as well, that experience. People like that with that high-performance look. Let's go look at some of the tech now that you guys are offering before we get to the actual sure truck. yeah I, I know we're keeping you waiting for the truck but let's <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna save the best for the last sure. in this case so let's let's talk about the different technology now there is some okay. new tech that's available in there is. 2018 let's let's start with the tech yeah so we have an, a number the first one pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection so uh, that's a feature now that we have we've added pedestrian detection so basically how that works is if the vehicle senses a, a collision uh, is imminent uh, it will alert the driver um, if there's uh, no reaction that will pre-charge the brakes. If you continue to get no reaction from the, the uh, consumer, it'll actually start to brake the vehicle itself and depending on conditions, uh, could come to a complete stop as well. So um, that's huge and it does that not only for a vehicle but also for a pedestrian in the way. So again, providing confidence to our customer. And this is new too, right? Adaptive, Adaptive cruise, cruise control with stop and go is also. So a customer can set their truck um, and set that distance to the vehicle in front uh, and using the radar and uh, our camera technology It'll basically keep that safe distance even as that vehicle in front starts to slow down, even all the way to a complete stop. So, so you again, can, you can set it and forget it. Correct. And it works with a trailer. So, as you see here in the image, and that's really important is that this is technology that works even when trailering or with a load because we know that's in most cases how our customer is going to be using our product. Now, of course, one of the newest uh, things that's coming along is. Um, it's not just you guys, everybody's doing it, but the Pro Trailer Backup Assistant is using cameras to help yep. you back up roads. So tell me about that. So that's a feature we've actually had since 2016. We brought out just after we had launched the all new in the 2015 model year, part of our continuous innovation, always bringing new features when they're available. And uh, But it's one that we'll continue to tout as part of the 2018 because it's an important feature. So this is at a boat launch, as you see there in the image. Uh, it basically allows a driver by using a knob uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the, the vehicle itself and it's not pictured there, but you can actually see that view so you and you can the knob to turn, turn the, the knob to turn the trailer. Um, and so it becomes much more easier, especially for people that maybe don't trailer a lot. I know your, your fans out there will say, well, I trailer all the time. Right. Um, and we get that. And that may not be the feature for you, but for customers who may not be as confident or may not tow quite as often, uh, we find it's great to provide more confidence. Yeah, because when you're backing up a trailer, obviously it's counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive. If you want the trailer to go left, you go right. Correct. And this allows you to turn the a little knob where, where, you, where your brain would suspect right yes. and and so for many people what we've found is that it's a it's a great feature and another one uh, that we've had before in 2017 we brought out is bliss with trailer coverage so that's another one that works with the technology of uh, knowing what our assist. customer will do blind spot assist basically um, but also for the trailer we have it'll cover up to 33 foot trailer as well because we know uh, when our customers are trailering they want that blind spot. are we okay Andre? We just had to restart in the app for some reason. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. No problem. Let's resume. Is it resuming? 
We resume. Guys. Okay, we're right, back. Great, great. We're back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, so another new thing, of course, is B&O, which is Bang & Olsen, right? That's Bang & Olsen point, Play, right? yep. Yeah. And Wi-Fi. Have you had the Wi-Fi hotspot? Has that been there before? So, no, Wi-Fi is new. Okay. So that's uh, linked to our embedded modem. Okay. Um, but B&O Play is really, especially for our premium sound system, is a real improvement. Uh, if you hadn't had a chance, we have it here. Uh, it's great. Um, and we think customers are really going to like it. All right, well, let's keep going over all here. Right. We, you know, we, we talked. We didn't kind of go over the fuel economy numbers. Correct. If you go to TFL Truck, we've got all these numbers on right. our website. So if you're interested in seeing what the fuel economy improvements are, and you are. can you can see the improvements. I think one of the things I'll point out is this 400 foot pounds of torque on our 2.7 liter. Uh, that's an additional 25 foot pounds of torque. A really outstanding number for that core engine, which is, as you mentioned, um, you know, our highest mix. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, fuel economy improvements plus. Um, both on horsepower and on torque, as we get 3327 in the 5 liter, um, all improvements, which we're really excited about. It's, it's a lot of choice. I mean, you have four engines here, and there's it actually is. five engines if you take the high output uh, Correct. Raptor engine, and now you're going to get the uh, the diesel. So Exactly. I mean, that it's, order form has got to be pretty tricky. Well, you know, it's the power of choice, and we often get that question, but, you know, our dealers are expert, and uh, and they, they've had to deal with that because they know, we know, um, that part of the strength of F-Series is offering those kinds of choices to our customer. And we... You know, we try to restrict where we can in our series lineup, especially as you move higher up in the uh, the order, because we don't want it to be too complex for customers or for our dealers. But at the same time, we've got to find the right balance with that power of choice. All right, well, let's get to the truck. All uh, right. Before we do yeah, that, been waiting. Yeah, we, sh we should talk about the new colors, new interiors. Sure. And uh, it kind of shows up. So you have, you have different wheel designs. Six new wheel designs, so that's not only the wheels we offer. We offer many more combinations, but those are the six new wheels um, from uh, 17s all the way up to new 22s. Um, and then we have new uh, four new paint colors, stone gray, guard, lead foot, and magma red. Um, so we're excited about each of those. And then on the interior, um, we've got three new major interiors on our upper end. So starting with King Ranch, a new Kingsville uh, interior you can see there. The platinum adds the dark Marcella interior. And then unlimited at the upper end, we add the Navy Pier. And then we do have a new XL uh, T Sport interior um, with one of our sport packages, which is very popular off of XLT. All right, well, let's finally go look at the trucks. Uh, All right. I think the biggest change, of course, is the new C-clamp headlight. So talk me about that. Is this making it more in line with the heavy-duty trucks? So you have the kind of the a new, a new front end. So yeah, becoming much um, more connected to our Super Duty, which is always good. So we have the C-clamp headlamp, um, uh, LED, uh, depending on uh, the model that you purchase. And then more use of the two-bar uh, grill um, that you see very popular in Super Duty. Um, and what we've done is we've added new grill this is our King Ranch, but we've added new grills across the lineup from XL all the way up to our Limited. Um, and it's gotten a bit wider. Uh, it has a more planted stance um, and a look from that standpoint. Um, so new lamps, new grills, new bumpers, this, um, this crate, really a new front end. This grill is kind of new too. I haven't seen that. Yeah, so we've, we've used mesh at different right. times and we still have mesh on some of our sport packages and our special editions, but we've brought that into a like King Ranch as an accent. Um, but again, we've got that real strong two bar, which we think Think really uh, highlights built for tough. That's a really interesting white too. It's got a, it's got a, kind of a lot of fluck in it. It is exactly. Like it's a pearlescent. Yeah, it's a pearlescent. One of our higher end paints. Let's look at the interior. Andrew. Sure. Let's go see what's new in the King Ranch because of course the King Ranch is not. Once upon a time this was the high end, but now yeah we have uh, a success. We have gone beyond. The King well, Ranch. as our customers always push us, you uh, you want more, and so we have King Ranch, which is a great product for us, um, and really kind of that Western look from a luxury standpoint, um, which appeals to many many people. Um, and then of course we have Platinum, which we would say is kind of very similar but a different kind of look from an interior perspective, and then limited at the top end. But yeah, this is the new Kingsville interior on our King Ranch. And I'm sure a lot of people are asking this question, but let me ask you: When will these trucks be available uh, for sale at the dealership? So. So the, some some will be arriving uh, soon. So we've always started to ship trucks, um, and uh, our major launch really begins uh, soon here in the September time frame. Um, but um, so we're already uh, building them. So we're already building them and already shipping to dealers. So it is just hit or miss, um, but they they will be there soon. Now, you know, of course, that there's a new Ram coming and a new Silverado coming. So is this kind of a preemptive strike or was this always part of the plan to, to keep, you know, developing and kind of giving the truck a fresh face and a new update in the engines? Obviously, the full-size pickup segment continues to be very, very competitive. But I think one of the things that we always talk about internally is 
playing our play. And, and this is our play um, in terms of when we were coming out. Continuous innovation has always been a hallmark of F-Series and of F-150. And so this is the next iteration of that, um, bringing new features, uh, new technologies, uh, a new look, uh, and more capability to our customers in the new 2018 F-150. Andre, are there any questions people are asking that you've noticed that, that we should be asking? Yeah, there is a um, kind of a recurring theme about sort of what are you guys doing to ensure durability, longevity, mm -hmm. and kind of reliability of the product? Sure. I mean, well, that, that's a core part of what we've always done from the ground up. I mean, I can't point to any one specific thing, but what we can tell you is our track record of Build Ford Tough, durability, reliability is a core for us and our internal engineering team and our designers. It's not just an advertising slogan, slogan, it's a promise we make to customers. And so that's something that we design and develop into every single truck. Um, and I think our track record, obviously, as we do with every new product, we do millions of miles of testing. It was no different when we we brought out the uh, high strength military grade aluminum alloy in 2015 and that continues as part of our regular part of the process so you know from a durability standpoint um, that's something we, we design in you must have seen those commercials where Chevy drops the toolbox into the bed of the sure. F-150 and it punches a hole in the F-150 but not in the Silverado. Sure. Is that real? What do you... What do you well, I, I mean, they're, they're running it on TV, so, yeah. so they've, they've done that right. um, from that standpoint. But uh, obviously for, uh, for us, uh, high-strength military grid aluminum alloy and being able to bring more capability to our customers is absolutely the right decision. Um, we're not seeing that happen in the field no, so uh, in you, significant you numbers. Dro dropping, you know... Uh, the the reality is, you know, hey, our com competition is going to do what they do, uh, and we're going to do what we do, and that's continue to build the best trucks in the business as testament to our 40 years of, of leadership as the best-selling truck in America. And so we do that for our customer. That's what we focus on. Um, when we, you know, we look at social media, I think a lot of customers and truckers who are the core of our buyer realize that if you were going to drop things like that, you would have a bedliner uh, in many instances. Um, so how they are able to do that, that's up to them uh, and that's their way but for us it's really about staying focused on our customer and delivering the best trucks built Ford tough and that's what we've done here with the new 2018 f-150 speaking of the tail of the truck sure. let's look at the back because we've made some changes back we here have. as well so yep. let's talk about what's different on the tailgate uh, of the truck so so what we basically have here is uh, so we've added a new um, so this is king ranch so we've added a new applique here uh new tail lamps new more sculpted tailgate as well um, that you see here so really helps bring out that tougher look that we've put into the front end uh, it's translated here to the back end as well and if we step over here we can show you on our uh, xlt models Another uh, thing that's very uh, similar, our customers will recognize it, we've now stamped F-150 into the tailgate on XL, XLT, and Lariat, um, similar to what we've done for Super Duty. You know, it's funny, I was um, talking about that recently, and I remember when Toyota did it and they touted it, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, then, you know, I, I got online and I saw the comments, and this has been going on a long time, mm -hmm. people have been stamping the name of the truck into the back of the tailgate sure right so it's it's something that's kind of coming back in some ways yeah and for us it's it's always been a, a, a unique design cue for super duty and something our customers really like and so we've brought that back uh to f-150 and we think it's going to be outstanding while the truck is here let's show them the interior of this truck Andre. okay uh, sure yeah I'll, can you open it up Andre, or do you need help there's some questions um about a um Higher performance versions, you know, there is a Raptor, but mm -hmm. people are saying, bring the Lightning back. <laughs> yeah, where's the Lightning? <laughs> well, we appreciate that. We know that Lightning has a very strong following. Yeah, we and, want, uh, we want a fast two-wheel drive. Yeah, we, uh, that's one we do hear quite a bit when we're out at events, especially when we end up at NASCAR events. Uh, that's uh, That crowd especially likes the Lightning. Um, I and the Tremor uh, was the last one, right? Tremor, yeah. Tremor was another one. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're always looking at, you know, potential special editions and things like that. We have a special edition on our XLT and our Lariat today. Um, and obviously we have Raptor, which is that upper end of the off-road performance. Um, Let's go so the front, show them the so uh, we appreciate the uh, the fervor for those kinds of products, and, and obviously we'll continue to look at uh, everything our customers are, are thinking about. Well, if you guys have any other questions, uh, uh, just leave them in the comments below, and we'll do our best to answer them. Todd, thank you very much. Roman, thank you for, so for much. Taking the time, always to, a pleasure to do the show and. Uh, walking us through the new truck. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And guys, as always, check out tfltruck.com for more news views and of course, real world truck reviews. Yeah. We gotta go do some towing, Andre, because we have to produce a lot more videos. <laughs> yep, and when we yeah, hear yeah, news yeah. about anything else, we'll we, let you know. We'll let you know. See you guys next time. Thanks, bye. Thank you. All right, let, let me untie.